Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you the best game played on the Lee Chess platform in the month of June 2023. Play with the white pieces Rajesh started with d4. Flatfish played knight to f6, so this is flatfish, not stockfish. Knight to c3, intending e4 maybe. d5, but now e4 anyway. D takes on e4, bishop to g5, defending the pawn, white to move, knight on g to e2 was played, f3 is the most played move, and then black usually plays knight from b to d7, back to our game, we have knight on g to e2, knight from b to d7, knight to g3, bishop to g6, bishop to e2, e6, Knight from c takes on e4, and white got his pawn back. Bishop to e7 on pinning. Knight takes on f6 check. Bishop takes on f6. Then play with the white pieces. Avoided the trade by playing bishop to e3. Flatfish cast at kingside, and so did Rajesh. Black to move. c5 was expected. Instead, e5 was played. And this is the critical moment, but player with the white pieces didn't know that it was critical moment. Nobody told him, so he played d5 in a hurry. Well, d takes on e5 should have been considered, and after knight takes on e5, f4, when the knight goes back, f5. This is highly unpleasant, isn't it? Back to our game. d5 was played e4, c4, bishop to e5, bishop to d4, f5, bishop takes on e5, knight takes on e5, queen to d4, queen to f6, rook from a to d1, rook from a to e8, knight to h5 attacking the queen, queen to h4, and now g3, what is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps queen to e7 is not a bad move. But there was a surprise of epic proportions. Play with the black pieces, flatfish, captured the knight, sacrificing the queen. Or maybe he just blundered. Let's see. Pawn takes queen, bishop takes bishop, forking two rooks, queen to e3, black to move, which rook to capture, which rook would you capture, what would you do? Flatfish played bishop to f3, intending a deadly rook lift. h3 was played, rook to f6, h5 preventing rook to g6 check rook to h6 c5 intending to create a pass pawn rook takes on h5 d6 rook takes on h3 threatening checkmate and play with the white pieces captured the bishop on f3 with the queen knight takes on f3 check king to g2 rook to h2 check king to g3 c6, d7, rook to d8, rook to d6, king to f7, rook from f to d1, black to move. What would be your plan in this position if you had black pieces? Well, play with black pieces decided to checkmate the white king with pawns only. So we have g5, b4, h5, b5, black to move and to checkmate in one, and the move is h4, checkmate. And this is quite a unique way to checkmate. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.